Welcome everyone to Nuatu and I have Amanda, Christina, and Maria Hello. today. Uh, the usual people in our, on our podcast. <laughs> yes. And um, we are the usuals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the team. <laughs> so today we want to talk about the benefits of acceptance. You know, um, we were just talking about the, earlier about this topic. And there's a lot of ways people can deal with it. There's a lot of ways people can experience um, acceptance or so struggle with acceptance. And so today we just want to explore a little bit uh, of what it is and you know what it, it uh, happens to people when they don't know what to do with acceptance and how to find it in their own lives. So just, just as, as usual, so we, we want to define what acceptance is first. And then we'll go from there. So anybody that is ready can just, you know, give us a definition of that. Okay, so we start with Google. Yeah. <laughs> Google, yes. Sure. We'll get this is not sponsored by Google, but this is not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, so um, the definition I found was the action or process of being received as adequate or suitable. And then I looked up adequate because that just seemed so low. Um, and it... Um, one of the definitions was barely sufficient. Mm. Mm -mm. Adequate? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so the action and process of being received as barely sufficient. Yeah. Or adequate. Wow. Yeah. Being received as barely sufficient. Like, oh, you're enough, I guess. <laughs> just, just, you know, you are not here. up here, but you're like right here. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. that it doesn't sound good yeah well, and everybody's striving for it so we're all tr striving to be like this barely sufficient person like just to barely cross that line of being accepted into whatever sure. group we're trying to be accepted into and who who, who is dictating that line this is barely sufficient. But you, yeah. you should be yourself because you're trying to be accepted. Why would you want to be accepted if you if if it means barely sufficient? Mm -hmm. So you're like playing yeah. by somebody else's rules. Yeah. But yeah. whose rules are you playing by? Exactly. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so they have like a line that you have to just like barely cross mm -hmm. to get yeah. there. Mm. And then you're one of us, but he barely. Yeah, barely. <laughs> <laughs> You're barely one of us. You're not really one of us. Yeah. You know? You're not inclusive. We are not inclusive yet. So what is the what is the term for when you're there? Is there a term for that? Is that like beyond acceptance? Like you're sufficient. You're sufficient. Yeah. <laughs> barely sufficient, you're sufficient to sufficient. 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 Yeah. So now you're there. You mm -hmm. got it. Like you've arrived, you're in the in crowd. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But sometimes, you know, like all these definitions, people just try to come up with what they think it might mean. But anybody can come up with their own definition of what acceptance means. So we can't just go by what, you know, Mir uh, Miriam Webster said. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, that that's it. That's how it's supposed to be. No, we can. I think we can. We can all come up with definition. We, we don't write dictionaries and stuff, but you can come up with your own definition of it. You know. So. I think for the most part we do already. Yeah. Because you're the one dictating who you let into your life and who you think is acceptable yeah. into your life. So. True. Yeah. Yeah. So it can be a good or a bad thing mm -hmm. in a yeah. way if you look at it. So we could like think really highly of uh, someone and be like, this is our role model. Yeah. They're not barely sufficient. Like this is the it. Yeah. And we accept them into our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So it's a very fluid, <clears throat> uh, ex I guess, definition in mm -hmm. reality. Because it also depends on what topic you're talking about. Yeah. True. What? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know, acceptability as a friend versus an acquaintance. I mean... Acceptance rich, kind of, yeah. Family. Yeah. yeah. I think my, 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 the way I, I think that, that uh, acceptance means is um, adequate. 
not inadequate. Like you, like like I could not saying you are the it. Like I don't see any, any anybody else. Like in, in I'm I'm part of this. Yeah, I'm included in it. That's what I think. Uh, uh, I accept it. Like uh, I'm, I'm accepted to be a part of this. I'm, or I'm part of this. Yeah. Uh, so it's feeling, the feeling of like, okay, I'm I'm in here as well. Yeah. And I'm not an outsider. I can be heard. I can say what I want. Um, my what I say is accept is taken. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, is there some type of ownership that's involved, one like in the acceptance process? Like, I'm now part of this group, and the group's goals are my goals. Yes. Like that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But what if you're in, you're accepted by, just because of that want to be in something, then you get into something that you don't completely agree with everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. But you say you're a part of something, you're included, but it may not be what you... Your beliefs are. Yeah, well, your morals or ethics or anything. But that's that's, that's normal. That's like, no, you're not going to be... Even in your own family, like you're, you're part of that family. You're accepted in that family, but you don't, you don't accept everything they do. <laughs> that's, that's, right? that's definitely true. Yeah, because yeah. you're, 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 you are your own person. Like you, you have your own mind. You have your own beliefs as a person. There's there's there's, there's family beliefs also, mm -hmm. but you also have your personal beliefs also. Mm -hmm. And sometimes your personal beliefs are gonna clash with your family beliefs, even That's though you true. accepted in that family. And it goes yeah. hand in hand to what you were talking about yeah. earlier. How in high school you were like friends with like different cliques, but it doesn't mean that you did the same thing that those people were doing. You had your own mindset. Yeah. You followed your own rules. You didn't follow what they did. Yeah. So even though you were accepted in those groups, but you didn't follow everything that they were doing. Yeah. yeah. So it's possible. I think it comes down to identity as well. Mm -hmm. Like if your identity is that group, then you then you almost have to be all in. But if your identity is separate from that group and that group and that group, and you just are a piece of every group, mm -hmm. your identity is the center. And the group is out here versus you being <clears throat> in one of the groups. Yeah. If right. you're in the group, then everybody else is out there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. And your mind is always going to take you. We, we are, the, we, as human beings, we are like that. We, we like to explore. Even if you're part, part of one group, one day you're going to hear somebody say something and you're curious about it. It's like, oh, that one sounds good. Let me dig into this, and then you go and dig it. You try to find out more about it, and then it's like, I kind of like this thing, even though I'm here, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's just part of nature. It's just part of who we are as human beings. Like you, you're always trying to find what balance yeah. in life. Yeah. 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 yeah so, so uh, do we really need acceptance in our lives as people or as human beings? Do we need it all the time? I don't think so. But do we do we want and crave it? Yeah. 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 So what is the difference of that between all the time and craving? Because I feel like just um, I think an example that I can say is like when um, we we as human beings all strive to be love and love, so we need mm -hmm. love because um, there was like an experiment that was done where the kid the, the some kids weren't shown love and some kids some babies were shown love the ones that weren't shown love some of them died and some of them got really sick yeah so we need love and care i feel like acceptance is also something like that that we sometimes need because we don't want to feel left out when you feel you know it just it takes a toll on you when you're not Accepted. Accepted into, like, even just one group. Yeah. Like, you at least have to be accepted by your family or something. You yeah. Just, yeah. That's true. You know, you know I, I like to give examples, like, back in the day, in, like, old age, like, uh, when life started. 
and and uh, humans who are living in small groups here and there, here and there, and they had to figure out a way to protect themselves, you know. And so they would make like like uh, even in Africa still, some people, some some tribes still live like that. They would make like a a a, 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 a fire around where they stay, and then they all will will be in the middle here to make sure that if there's any uh, predators comes, they can get to any, any of them. Family. And if you if you just want and you just take off and go, you'll be attacked and killed by dangerous animals out there, mm. right? And so, and I think that's just something that's been developing in us as human beings, that we need that. We need to be accepted in a group, to feel safe, to feel secure. It's like a survival instinct. Yeah, it's like a survival <laughs> instinct. So if you know, if you don't have it, you feel like you're unsafe. You know, it, even love is just part of the safety uh, mechanism that we have as human beings. Because yeah. mm -hmm. when when you don't feel that that way, you feel like I just I just feel like I'm I'm not there. You know, feel insecure. Mm. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, something is missing in my life. And sometimes, sometimes you don't feel like, like, oh, somebody's gonna stab me or I'm gonna get eaten by some mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but in, in reality, it's that you, you, uh, you're afraid, you know? You're afraid of your life. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And so. so. My yeah. mind is churning a little bit because like I'm thinking biblically, like biblically, you know how you're talking about how like you strive to belong somewhere and yeah. you, you don't feel like you're if you don't get accepted you don't feel like you really belong anywhere yeah but then when you look at it like biblically like you're not if, if even even though you're not accepted by people yeah in this world like god accepts you the way you are yeah you know he accepts you he's there for you all the time so then why why would you feel alone just because certain people don't accept you or certain people you're not around other people or you're not part of a group you know why should you feel alone why should you feel like you're not accepted by anyone when you've already been accepted by a, uh, by somebody else i don't know that's where <laughs> see that's where i was like do we need it but yeah that's like yeah sometimes but it is something that we crave, just like we crave because love isn't from it exhausting parents? when yeah. you when you strive to be accepted by someone and you try to do everything and anything to be accepted? Isn't that exhausting? That's Can't you exhausting. just be happy with who you are? And if that person doesn't accept you, then that's that's fine. Just let it let that be that. Even if you're not gonna be part of that group, even even family, I would say, if your family doesn't accept you, okay, yeah, there's gonna be a certain part of you that's that's still gonna be hurt from it or it's going to feel like, you know, you don't be, you know, you, a sense of not belonging, but in some way, yeah, it's kind of important, but is it really that important? So, yes. I don't it, know. It, it is very important. It's just, it's just like in you. Like, if you don't have it, you just feel like, you know, I'm not worthy. But you are, yeah. though. Yeah. But it, the it, thing it is, is that some people don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They, some people aren't religious. Some people okay. don't know okay. God, so they yeah. wouldn't know that there's some something else there that something accepts them and them. loves them. Okay. They'll be like, "No, I need it. I need to be accepted by other people. I need to be loved by other people." And even if you know that God, God loves you like that, mm -hmm. that God accepts you like that, but somebody that is important in your life doesn't, you still doubt. You still have that doubt. And that's like, yeah. that's yeah. that's yeah. that that's what kind of drives me kind of a little bit crazy. Like yeah. if you think about it, because when it comes like let, let me just put it like when 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 like with my whole dad situation, you know I've always wondered like why didn't he stay? You know why was was he not in my life? Did I do something wrong? Like why didn't he accept me yeah. and stuff like that? So then when he finally came into my life, there were still those questions that yeah. were still unanswered. So I get that, you know, we're, we're, we're in a way we're, we're kind of created to need. want to, yeah, need to be accepted by people. And when we don't get that acceptance, there's something that's missing. There. Yeah. So I get that. Because there are people out there in the world that commit suicide. True. Yeah, before yeah. Because yeah. of not being accepted, not yeah. being loved. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm 
we need it. Yeah. We need acceptance. <laughs> we need acceptance the same way we need love. Because when you don't have or you don't know that you have those things, there's there's a loss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you can know you can be like a very you know staunch Christian and believe in everything God says, but if somebody important in your life or your family member just chooses not to you know to accept you, you know, and you will still like you know that God loves you and love God accepts you, but you still like, what did I do wrong? Mm-hmm. You know. I think it's the logic, like that logic, you're like, why do I need this? Yeah. But then like, there's that feeling of like, that, just that craving. Yeah. That just that acceptance that is at war with that logic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And sometimes it's not because you did anything wrong. You just like, it's just there. Like, it's just a natural thing that it's in in you that is all this questioning. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what happened? What did I do? Why can't he just like think? It's a simple, you know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like that striving, like I'm striving to meet this this person's standard. Yes. And then when you realize like you can't get it, like none of, like sometimes you can never be enough or do enough for that person. Mm-hmm. But mm. you are still enough. Yeah. And so really it's, the ownership becomes on them. Yeah. Is you that know? why the definition says barely sufficient? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> because you can never be enough for that person. So you barely make it. Mm-hmm. And it feels like you can almost like lose yeah. it then mm-hmm. in some relationships. Like yeah. if you just mess up one little thing or don't text in the right time frame or don't call or don't do... Like if you mess up any of their rules, like you're out again. And like, then you got to strive to get back in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But like like I, I think we need it and I think when you realize or uh, know that you are accepted, uh you it can move you from just being feeling happy to being to being actually happy. Mm-hmm. You know? Because some a lot of people just have that feeling of happy, but they're not really happy people. Versus joy, maybe. Yeah. Happy versus joy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you feel accepted by somebody, you really wanted them to accept you. Maybe they started talking and you're happy. You're feeling happy. But was, but once you know that, that, that you are accepted with them, you will be actually happy. But so I, know, I feel like I don't like that when you, when you know that. <laughs> like that. I feel. I feel like I it feel would like just it's have so to be bad. dependent. It would depend yeah. on like a certain situation, wouldn't mm-hmm. it? Because let let's say like a friend, like when it comes to school, you know, as certain people don't, you know, they won't accept you. Would do you then? Do you really need their acceptance? Because they're not really. They won't add anything into your life. Exactly. Is is they gonna kill you that they're not gonna accept you? So you don't really need their acceptance. So I would, I said that it would just depend on a certain situation yeah. or a person, I guess. Or the so it depends on the situation and a specific person. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I feel like there's something in me that's like I don't like that. Yeah. And I think I don't like so being very sufficient for someone. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's also the, it depends on the situation, like what you're saying, like if, if you're in a relationship where you're constantly having to cross that barely sufficient Mm -hmm. mark Mm -hmm. versus like the relationship where just you're accepted, like just as you are. Yeah. Like I I have, I have friends that uh, maybe I don't talk to them for like six months or a year. We pick up right where we left off the, the last time, every time. And there's no like, oh, sorry, I didn't text. You know, like, there's none of that. Like, mm-hmm. because it's just enough, you know? Like, we are in each other's lives when we can be in each other's lives. And that's acceptable. Yeah. You know, that's the yeah. line. Yeah. But the people that you have to strive for and then you're always walking on eggshells for, yeah. Yeah. like, those are the it's ones exhausting. you don't need that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's too much work. Like, the amount of energy you spend trying to get an acceptance from this one person when there's other people out there who would just say come as you are yeah. like, why? so do we so I feel like then we follow what um, what God says is like I want you as you are yeah so do we follow those groups or that person that 
accepts us for who we are and not what we barely can be for them. Mm. I feel like that's that's a lot better for me because I don't I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. So make sure you pick and choose, Ryan. Make sure you pick those people who ex- yeah. will, who will accept you as you are and not who they want you to be in a way. So then you have to you also have to um understand and be able to discern when you are working too hard to be in someone's life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you don't you, you, you never mean, know. Yeah. Because yeah. you never know what you're doing. Maybe you, you start like, okay, when I meet up with a certain friend I always bring them coffee. Yeah. That's something that I feel like I started out doing just, you know, because I was trying to be nice. But now it's like a, a thing that I'm like, oh, I should bring something. Mm-hmm. And every time you go back, you're like, ah, I should bring something to this person. So now you're working to please that person. And yeah. that's not, that's exhausting. Yeah. It's, too much. it's a lot of money to spend. And, and, and another thing I was going to say is like, you know, life is always changing and people are constantly changing. Mm-hmm. It's like, so even with the accepting thing, you know, if you, if you can understand it, then you don't have to worry about all the changes that are happening, mm-hmm. you know, because you just know, like we're saying, the definition. I just reached the threshold. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've done my my part. I'm 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 there. I, I don't need to do extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's something wrong too. Like, there's relationships that you should be growing as a person. Yeah. They should be growing as a person, and you should be you know moving along. Yeah. Um. But the acceptance piece kind of almost has to be like a foundation of like. Yeah. We're gonna, you know, continue growing, and we're gonna continue accepting our growth. Yeah. Because you're changing also. Yeah. You know, they're changing, you're changing also. And so, I like, I kind of not like the definition now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. I really, I don't <laughs> like, I don't, and I don't like the fact that we need it. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. need it. We need it. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> but <laughs> you can, you can, you can, you can hit the, the peak. Like the, the, you know, the 100% mark. You can, yeah. you can, you can be the, whatever we call the, what do we call again? Uh, barely sufficient. Barely, yeah, yeah. I'll be just sufficient. Yeah, no. Barely sufficient. When I, when I look at the people in my life, I don't care about this <laughs> <laughs> at all, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but I get why we need it, but I just, it's just yeah, something I mean, about it rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. Know. Yeah. But then on the, like, as I was sharing earlier, like the first time I went to Kenya, it was like a, a, like pressure was released because it was the first time I didn't feel like I was expected to fit in. Um, so I, I was accepted as not fitting in, I guess. It was mm. like this counterintuitive way of approaching it. I don't know. But it was just like a breath of fresh air because I wasn't striving to be Kenyan because like I wasn't. <laughs> so yeah. Over the years, I've gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, being, growing up as a teenager, all those things, like, you're always striving to be accepted in this group, in this group. And, and then when I went to another culture and realized, like... They don't care. Yeah. Like, yeah, there was still, like, oh, you're an American, so you must do this. And I'd be like, no, I don't. But it, <laughs> it wasn't, like, it wasn't life or death anymore. Like, it was just, I was free to be myself for the first time ever. Would you say... That you did not have to work to be barely sufficient. Yeah. You could just be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't need the acceptance. Oh, there we go. So yeah. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> but maybe I was accepted to not be accepted. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you weren't, oh, what did you say? You weren't being received like to be adequate. Like, yeah. to be barely sufficient. You weren't, they weren't expecting all that. Yeah, there was no expectation to, like, the puzzle pieces didn't have to fit. Like, yeah. I didn't fit, like, period. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 You're just out there. Yeah. I just do whatever. I'm dipping. I'm going to wear my muddy sneakers and yeah. my dress, and we're going to call it good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So is acceptance a feeling of belonging or not? 
like I think we talked a little bit about that, but is it a feeling that I need to belong, or is not? I yeah. think it is a feeling of belonging, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. When when you're in a group. When you don't feel like you belong to it. Yeah. Then you you're not. You not feel accepted. like you accept. Yeah. yeah. So you be, there is a feeling of accepting, like a belonging. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna check Google here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Google. Yeah. Oh, I don't belong here. So, what am I doing here? I should leave. This I'm not accepted here. But but at the same time, there's places, there's certain groups you can go, you could be into, but you don't feel like you belong, mm -hmm. but they accept it. Hmm. Right? Example. Like clubs like, in high school. Yeah. Or, or, or churches. Yeah. They'll accept yeah. you, but you but still... You, oh, but you, you go there and you're like, like, you don't belong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I felt okay. like that yeah. in a, a, lot of, a lot of clubs that I was in in, 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 my, in high school. Like that, no place for hate. It was full of so many people, but I felt like I wasn't connecting to any of yeah. them. So I really didn't feel like I belonged, even though they I shared some. Yeah, 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 even though they accepted me and we kind of mm -hmm. shared some some interest in the club, but I just did not feel like I belonged there. Mm -hmm. So belonging might be like a deeper yeah. sense of its acceptance? Mm -hmm. What is Google saying? Google has a lot. Um, <laughs> 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 Let's see it. Um, so, fitting in in a specified place or environment. An example, she's a stranger and doesn't belong here. So, like, fit in. Um, have the right personal or social qualities to be a member of a particular group. So, the example, young people are generally very anxious to belong. That's that barely sufficient thing. Mm -hmm. And then be rightfully placed in a specified position. Learning to place the blame mm -hmm. where it belongs. So I think it's a feeling of a belonging, but it's not necessarily what leads to acceptance. But you have to have acceptance to have belonging, or belonging to have acceptance? Which one comes first? Mm -hmm. I think you I have think to feel belonged. <coughs> you have to feel like you belong there. Because then, then you all, you all accept yourself to be in that club. Yeah. And then yeah. once they, you know, you belong, you're part of it, yeah. you fit in. Then you know you accept. Yeah, because just like I was saying earlier, just because a, a group can accept you doesn't mean you feel like you belong there. Yeah. So it, it's not until you actually feel like you belong in that group that you and you receive that acceptance that you actually you know. So so <clears throat> so what we're trying to say here is like acceptance is not it doesn't come from the other person it comes from you you make that decision. It could be yeah. either. So yeah. you've given yeah. acceptance by other people and then you accept acceptance. Uh -huh. yeah. So she's talking about belonging as an acceptance of the acceptance? <laughs> acceptance of yourself, like you accept yourself yeah. being in there, so yeah. you feel like you fit in there, so then you re you receive that acceptance that you get from them. Because they already accept you, but you don't feel like you belong. But if you feel like you belong, then you accept that acceptance. Acceptance. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, this, that, that, yeah. this can be different with like a family member because because mm -hmm. are they the one showing you that they accept you or you 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 you, you like we're saying you make that decision that I feel accepted here. I think it's vice versa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it could also depend on who you are as a 